Hey guys, what's up? In JavaScript, we have objects which allows you to map keys to values and keys being strings. Uh, but it was uh, missing a very important data structure that exists in other programming languages called maps. So they introduced maps in ES6 version. Maps allows you to map arbitrary values to other values. Basically, instead, you can use objects as keys. Okay, and it has other interesting properties. They also introduced another data structure called weak maps, a weaker sibling of maps. Okay, that was a joke. But yes, there is a data structure called weak maps. So we're gonna look at uh, them both how they work, why they are used, and where they are used. And welcome to Taxi Tutorials. Okay, so let's first look at problem with the regular object and why do we really need maps? So, um, let's say if I have an empty object, okay? We already know we can use key value pair and key as a string, right? But I wanna use key as an object. Now, currently, if I wanna use a uh, regular JavaScript object, I can still do it, but let's see what what what's wrong with it. So I'm going to create a key, uh, let's say A, which is also an empty object. And if I, let's say do X, A, um, I'm using it as a key, and I'm just gonna say A, right? Now if I console log this, X, let's see what do I get. So I get uh, this object, object as the key and A as the value, <clears throat> which is fine. I can still do X A and it should give me this A string, right? So if I run this, then I get A, which is correct. Now let's do add another key. So I'm going to have constant B as another object called num equal to one and then I am going to add this b equal to b okay now let's look at how this x looks like alright so here I have only one key object object so JavaScript object object only supports one key object it cannot support multiple so if I do multiple then it only remembers the last one and that's a problem so that's why we need maps right, so I can create a map using a constructor I have to use a constructor so I'm just gonna say const map equal to new map and remember this M is capital okay so this is the name and this is actually the map because which is capital now I can add um, A as a key and a value. So you cannot simply just do like a regular JavaScript objects. So you have to use a special method. And if I console log or console dir map, I should see all the important methods that are available to it. So if I look at its prototype, it has a bunch of methods available. So I can use them. And it also has iterator, which which is really cool, because because real because JavaScript object doesn't um, iterate, so this is really cool. And it has a method called set, so we can use this method to set keys. All right, so let's do that. Um, what I'm gonna do is I can say map dot set. Um, I have to set the key like this, and I'm just gonna set. Up. A string as the value so my object my key here is an object this empty object and my value is just a string okay and so if I look at it here um, I would get object a right which is really cool and you can see the key is the empty object and value is a similarly I can do map dot set b uh, is b now b is this one which has this number as a property so if I look at it now it has two keys one is the empty object 
and the second is the dynamic of the one, which is this object. So this is really cool. And the cool thing is you don't have to uh, do set multiple times. You can simply chain this, which really works. So I just have to do this. All right, and this this is really cool, so I can just keep uh, setting. What if I want to have the same key again with a different value? Uh, so for example, let's say if I just do this, um, it's already set A as string A. Now I'm going to do uh, set, set A as some value C. So I'm sweating, setting it twice. So let's see what really happens. So here I'm going to only see two, but it really overrides the first one, right? Because it only remembers the one. Because in a map, you only can store unique value, just like JavaScript object. It only allows you to set uh, unique values. And that's why um, it will override the last, uh, it will override the first A. And so now the a has C. Okay, so this is very important now. And let's say if I want to remove a particular key, I can use a delete. Uh, so let's say if I want to remove B, then all I have to do is map dot delete B. And that should remove number two here. And so it should have now only one, which would be this A equal to C, right? So as you can see, it doesn't have that B. Now, unlike regular JavaScript objects, if I want to iterate through all the values, I have to use for in loop, which is quite bad. Uh, here, I can use the for off loop, which I can use it with the regular uh, JavaScript arrays. It's because I have the iterator property. So if I look at the map and its prototype, I have this symbol iterator, right? So this allows me to iterate through um, the arrays. And so also allows me to iterate through maps. Let me remove this here and I can write a for loop. So I can say for let uh, key and value map dot entries. And I can say console log uh, key and value. Okay, so I can com comment this out. And now I can see key and value, key and value. So this is really cool. You can use for off, which was not available for JavaScript objects. And this, because of this, I can actually convert this map into an array. So all I have to do is const, const ary equal to, I can use a spread operator on map. And if I just uh, do console log array, I should see this should be an array. Okay, so if I run this, it says basically converts into two dimensional array. As you can see, the first element holds uh, an array with two values, one with the key and a, and a value, and the second one is also key and a value. So it converts into two dimensional array. That's an important trick. All right, so now let's look at why do we need weak maps. Uh, and that is because once you define a map's key, it kind of holds it in the memory and it doesn't let it garbage collected, even though the original key is, let's say, removed. And that's why we need weak maps. So for that, we're going to look at an interesting example. So let's say if you have an X, this would be our key. Now let's create var as our map. So lat has a function, uh, lat has a block scope, so it only exists here. But var has a function scope, so it should exist outside. So I can say new map, and I can add this key to this map. So I can say set X, equal to uh, something, right? Now if I console log uh, map here, we already know that x 
doesn't exist outside here so it should not be available however if you look at the console you will get key here because it's attached to this map this is not being garbage collector even though x doesn't really exist here but this key is still part of the map which should be gone right mm, that's why we have weak maps so if i use weak map instead of map and i'm just going to change this to weak map if i look at the weak map and i have a zero entry here if you just refresh it with this code it won't work you have to really open a new and i want you to and this will be a kind of a homework uh, tell me why this happens okay if anybody knows this it's an interesting uh, thing that's happening but why so if i open this in a new browser and refresh it uh, you won't see the entry but if i simply change map to weak map and then refresh it or run it again uh, you will see the see, still see the entry here uh, for x so yeah let me know all right so i hope you learned something from this tutorial if you did please uh, like subscribe and provide a nice comment and you can also help me uh, help the channel uh, via patreon and uh, you can also translate uh, this video into your native language. I'll provide uh, detail in the descriptions. And thank you.